What's up, YouTube? Wait. Yeah, it's going. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Welcome back to Murphy's Beach. We were just uh, showing some folks our rock sliders. Y'all been asking for these for a year and a half now, so check these babies out. It's quite the artillery, yeah? So, uh, Heavy Keys putting some 42s, some 42, 13, 50, 20s on old Black Betty out of here today, so let's go check him out. Do these 42s look small or is it just me? <laughs> I don't know, they're pretty small. <laughs> I feel like maybe it's because we're used to looking at 58s. Yeah. So, this is a 42. Does it look small, folks? To me, it looks small. Watch, let's grab a 58 now. <laughs> Craig would like to know if you finally learned your track lesson. Huh? Craig said, have you finally learned your track lesson? My track lesson? Mm -hmm. uh, no, actually, you know what? Uh, funny thing is, is so two days ago, uh, Casey Liddell sent me a link and he had found some mat tracks and I think we might buy them. I'm, I'm actually almost positive. We're probably going to go up to Bozeman, Montana and pick them up. I don't know. Um, but I think we're just going to convert to mat tracks. And then these are going to be experimental tracks. We're going to put them on, you know, uh, who knows. You guys have to stay tuned. No, I definitely have not learned my lesson. We're just getting started, Craig. <laughs> I think the, the tracks are fun, you know? <laughs> Yeah, those 42s <laughs> look like, like bicycle tires. You said the audio is cutting out. It is? Mm. Let me take it off the Wi-Fi, maybe. I think maybe that's why... Craig, uh... it. <laughs> You mind? <laughs> Maybe that's why I feel like 42s look small. I didn't used to feel like they look small, but these tires have ruined me, folks. Because <laughs> when we first when we first rolled those off the truck, we were like, God, those are barely bigger than 37s. And then you roll them up to a 37. And they're way bigger than 37. But just because we've been staring at these 58s for like eight months. Would you like to tell YouTube how you acquired the skills to fabricate? Uh, just, I grew up on ranches around here with my dad. I started building pipe fencing when I was really young. Um, and my dad also had a shop. So I did a lot of stuff in his shop. I remember the first welder I started using was a snap-on with a toggle switch on it. So you flip the toggle switch and it would just keep welding. You'd have to shut it off. Uh, and just trial and error. 
over being in Ash Fork, way out in the middle of nowhere. We had to build a lot of stuff, fix a lot of stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. And then, I never went to school or anything. I went to the well. I went to. I was in the oil fields for um, four years. I learned a lot in the oil fields too. So. What tires are we putting on Black Betty? I didn't get like a close up of it. Uh, like. Nitto mud grapplers. Dang. Those ain't gonna work. We're gonna have to cut cut a lot off of Black Betty. <laughs> How are you going to steer with this, Greg? So we're going to do the same thing with Black Betty as we did with Hellboy. So we're going to cut this off right here and then put a rock slider in there and then we'll cut this off too. Bring this back. So Then we're, we'll, we'll lift it some more. But... We just wanted to get an idea. Um, I've got a couple of people asking how you got Grab started. Grab the saws off, heavy tea. <laughs> how you got started in towing. Uh, my dad, through my dad. My dad was in towing. Um, he had a light duty when I was a kid. And I, that's how I started. My, my granddad had heavies in, back in the 60s and 70s. And uh, when in the 80s my dad ended up taking his business over my dad got rid of the heavies he didn't want anything to do with the heavies and then later on uh, my dad got into light duties and and had a mechanic shop tire shop and so I grew up in the light duty towing and and just doing off-road recoveries and uh, and from and I always wanted to be in the heavy business I always wanted a heavy my dad didn't want anything to do with it he was uh, had his fill of heavies and so uh, I after high school I left went to oil fields uh, came back and started this little shop right here this was uh, the little shop that we started in I'll show you the big shop here in a little bit uh, this was just an automotive shop and me and one other guy started this started this shop and uh, it was a tire shop before I started doing heavy truck repair. I moved into it, started doing heavy truck repair. Um, about a year and a half later, two years, I met my wife and my wife said that I can't buy a heavy wrecker until I build her a house. <laughs> and I talked her into letting me buy a heavy wrecker before we built the house. Bought a heavy wrecker and been in heavy wrecking ever since. So. Perfect. Um, Thomas Kirby was wanting an update on the 75 ton rotator and wanted to walk around, but 75 tons not down here right now. 75 tons not here. The best yeah. I could do is an 1150 walk around if you want that. Okay. Uh, my 75 ton is in Williams right now. <laughs> uh, Mark said if De Niro doesn't fit into those tires while others roll him, then they're too small. <laughs> He'll fit perfectly in these. These, I think he's talking about these. I think he's talking about the 42s. 42s. Those are, I don't think you'll fit in those 42s. <laughs> Look at these fit like, uh, tell them the story about your tires and wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get those back yet? <gasps> no. So, uh, yeah, put it, put an advisory out uh, if you come yeah. across this guy. You know the guy's <laughs> name? You're going to look it up. Let's tell them the story though. I'll tell like, them the story. okay. So I had the wreck Dodge and I put it on Facebook Marketplace to sell. And for some reason, me being an idiot, <laughs> I took my wheels and tires off my Tacoma and put them on the Dodge's rollers. And uh, the guy never gave them back. <laughs> Can't get a hold of him. Don't know where he's at. Uh, I know where he works. Uh, if you see some vision wheels. On some Nitto Ridge gra Grapplers at a Waste Management in Prescott. <laughs> Listen, get him back. <laughs> What's that? Uh. Yeah, folks, don't forget to like the live, you know? Mm -hmm. Like and subscribe. Um, Gary would like to know how many of our employees are related. So, De Niro's our nephew. Uh, that's Wrecker Rick's sister's youngest son. 
And Heavy T is our other nephew. He's the older of our nephews. Um, and then Cody. <laughs> Cody's our editor. Cody is Wrecker Rick's cousin, and he's our editor. He's my um, cousin, but we were raised together. So yeah. we're like brothers. We grew up in the same house. And then... Uh, Hot Rod's not related. We we kind of tend to call him our adopted son sometimes, but he's not actually related to us. Um, yeah, so. A lot of people want to know how much longer till Hellboy's going to be done. Uh, Hellboy, I mean, talk to Mark here. <laughs> All right, Mark. What about me? How much longer when, till Hellboy's when's done? Hellboy's <laughs> tonight so yeah, <laughs> six o'clock right now they're asking mm -hmm. okay. no. uh, no well I can I can answer that that's a joke uh, so uh, we're just working on wiring right now we got it um, figured out so I'll tell you what happened is so when I was building these fingers when I was welding these fingers on we were in a hurry to try to make it down to the expo so I left my ground lead, I had my ground lead on this fender over here, and I drugged the welder over to, to this side, <coughs> and I had the, the welder on this side, and I started welding on the frame, and forgot to grab my ground, and we didn't have batteries hooked up, nothing, there was nothing hooked up. The only thing that was hooked up is there was a couple of grounds that were hooked up, and and all the electrical was still hooked up. And when I touched the gun to the frame, all I could hear all the... Mark, bring me that right there. In this fuse block, I could hear all the relays clicking with my gun when I hit, when I put, I was putting back feeding power through the ground, through the ECM, through the relays completely wiped this out the the board in this is wiped out the board in the other one's wiped out we replaced that one we replaced the ecm and what else we replaced uh wiring harness no wiring way. harness we went through wiring harness we had to go through a bunch of wires on it yep. and uh we got it all figured out now but uh so just a little tip for y'all if you're welding on your truck Hook your ground lead like six inches away from where you're welding. You learn it the hard way. I've always been one of those guys like, you don't have to unhook the batteries. That's an old wise tale. That's bullshit. So, but let me tell you, uh, whether your batteries are disconnected or not, if you backfeed power through your ground through your ECM, you're gonna you're gonna wipe it out. So do exactly make sure what you your did. Your ground <laughs> is close to where you're welding. Um. We're getting a lot of questions about going to the record games and I mean we'd like to but we gotta get Hellboy done. So yeah, we don't want to be done and then I don't know uh, I don't know if we're gonna go anyway. Um, you know. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I mean nobody said anything to us about it, so <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get all y'all asking us about it and I don't know. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on. I mean, we, we, you know, our company's not a real small company. You know, getting away for a weekend is kind of hard sometimes. So, uh, um, I mean. There's a question, I think they came on a little late, about why we were taking the tracks off Black Betty. Uh, well, I mean, I can just show you. Yeah, that's what the live's for. So these wheels are coming apart. I think I'm going too fast with them. Um, I don't think they're made for highway speeds. <laughs> to be honest, uh, I'm just kidding. I wasn't going highway speeds, but uh, we melt some of these wheels down. Um, we're just we're taking them apart. I think we're gonna put mat tracks on here. I don't know yet, uh, but I mean, for now we're gonna take them off, put tires on it, and. If not, we're gonna redesign some stuff on these tracks. Tell Hot Rod to get off the. <laughs> Why isn't he here? Where is he? He's uh, commenting on here, but he's not here. <laughs> so, uh, 
Yeah, that's why we got them off. That's why we're taking them off. I don't know. The problem with these tracks that I've seen uh, from using them for the last, what, eight months, six months, is there's no approach angle on them. So they're just flat. So anytime you're in deep snow, anytime you're going over rocks, anytime you're going over anything, they want to kick out from underneath the truck. And um, we have these limiters right here. And what happens with these limiters is when it kicks out, it bends this, pulls it into the wheel, and knocks all the rubber off the wheel. So uh, the track manufacturer is has sent us some parts to try to correct that. But in my opinion, it's not been corrected. So uh, I don't know. These are just going to be experimental tracks from here on out, I think. You know, like, what if we took four of these tracks and we put them on the back of a semi? <laughs> Somebody did comment and say put them on the Peterbilt. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So, what if we took four tracks and put them on the back of a semi and then put skis on the front? Like, skis like that wide. <laughs> think it'd work? <laughs> um, Maybe we'll try it. I have a question about the winches on our first 50 ton rotator. They said, why did you guys not add two winches to the first 50 ton? Auxiliaries? I think that's what they're talking about. He uh, said that he watched a, a video of Pepe uh, and he had two more winches than we do. So they're called auxiliaries and it's just a matter of the auxiliaries to when you buy a wrecker, when you buy a rotator, you can get it built any way you want. and. When I had that one built, it was a matter of money. So that was uh, one of our, uh, that was my first rotator I ever bought. So it's kind of a learning curve. I wanted the auxiliaries, but I didn't want to spend an extra $30,000. And I figured, uh, it's actually an extra, I think almost 50,000. But if I buy the winches outright, I could buy them for less than 30,000, put them on myself. So that was the, the vision that I had when I bought it, I was going to put the winches on myself and save, you know, 15,000, 20,000, whatever it was at the time, I don't remember. But I was going to save a lot of money, and uh, I mean, everything, you know, went crazy. We got busy. I never got around to doing it. The truck only has three winches. So Does our. The other, our other two our other rotators are mm -hmm. uh, 1150 that Fender drives with the knee boom, has, uh, is a five winch, and our 75 is a five winch. They are handy. I wish it did have auxiliaries. We probably will put auxiliaries on there maybe this year or next year. I don't know. I could have I could have put auxiliaries on there instead of buying these tracks, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um somebody asked how many men we have working for us. Thirty two. Um. Thirty. Something like that. Who has been the best other youtuber that we've ever towed we've only towed one youtuber that we know of that we know of uh, and that's gentry and sons and they were really they were really nice their driver and his wife were great they were they were really great um expat said rick you said kenworths were the best last night because that's what are predominantly used for heavy haul what does that long nose Pete have to say about that? Uh, well, I mean, they're made by the same company. <laughs> so, I mean, Peterbilt's, Kenworth's, I, I like both of them. Uh, I mean, there's been even some trucks, you know, some internationals I've liked over the years. I mean, um, that's, I mean, we, we use Rams, we use Kenworth's, we use Peterbilt's. Uh, it doesn't mean that, like, that's the only truck we'll drive, that's the only truck we're like we make fun of Fords, we make fun of Chevys. I've had a lot of Chevys, I like Chevys. Um, I used to be a huge square body fan. I used to build a lot of square bodies back in the day when I was out of high school. And, um, but, you know, we really, we just, we like to make fun of the guys, truck guys. They're, they're so sensitive, so. Um, but we, we do like Fords, we like Chevys, we like, uh, I don't like Cascadia's. <laughs> Pretty much up front. Like Western Stars. I like Detroit's. I like Cummins. I like. Uh, I'm not. Don't really much care for pack cars. Um, but I mean, if, if I 
But my my favorite truck is a Kenworth W900. Um, 900L. Daniel asked if What's our, our favorite truck. What's your favorite truck? Mixer truck. What about you, Dave? <laughs> What's your favorite truck? <laughs> B&L B &L series Volvo okay. those make nice heavy hauls too they actually uh, talk to anybody Russian they'll, they'll tell you that they, they make great heavy haul trucks so. um, Daniel our daughters just help us out every now and then Taylor is pretty involved in our online store with our merch um, Maddie just goes out with us whenever she's not busy. <laughs> so, but they're still in Wait, high school. Wait, and Harley Davidson? Or Marlboro <laughs> Man? <laughs> look, look, folks, we got the Marlboro Man here with us today. <laughs> hey, what's with you and them fucking boobs? <laughs> what? <laughs> Never seen Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man, I guess. These kids are too young, huh? You guys know I'm dying your mouth though, don't you? <laughs> oh, this, how about this thing, huh? This thing's in here for a power divider. This is not ours, folks. Everybody's asking why you killed Rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> so. Killed Rowdy? Yeah. Where he went. Somebody asked why you killed him I've been, off. I've been trying to kill Rowdy for years. <laughs> I don't think he's killable. He's like a turd that won't flush. Uh. What do y'all think about this Jeep that we've been sitting in here for like six months? Um, they want to update on the off-road rollback too. Yeah, Maybe we should put these 42s on this Jeep. Huh? So we got a uh, Kingpin High Pinion 60 for this Jeep. And a uh, 12 bolt for it. It's going to go in it. Uh, and that'll be like a little run around Jeep, do light off-road recoveries and stuff. Uh, we did an off-road recovery in our side-by-side -side the other day. I'm not really partial to them side-by-side, though. So. Where is the flatbed? Oh, it's over there. Uh, yeah, y'all want to check out the flatbed? I'm going to show them the transfer case. So we actually just drove it today. We had to pull the tranny out. We put the trail, tail shaft on it uh, wrong. So we had to pull that back out. It's got an icing. We had to pull it back out, redo the tail shaft. Got it back in there. Got the clutches, the clutch back that's in the tail shaft back in there properly. Uh, Cause I don't know if you guys, if I said this in the videos, but what happened was, is originally we, we pulled the tail shaft off of we pulled the shell the tail shaft off of the hellboy transmission and put the infamous piece of shit transfer case <laughs> that was in hellboy that broke four times that we put a that we put a chain on four times we put it in this truck <laughs> and i put a new chain in it for the fourth time and so i put a put it in this truck okay well then we got all the everything done got everything bolted up at at a hellboy and uh, we drove the truck out, got across the parking lot, started making some weird noise, pulled it back in here. And when we pulled the, the tail shaft off of it, all the clutches fell down and got out of alignment. And we just put that tail shaft back on there and it just pinched everything. So it just wiped the whole tranny out. Right? So we pulled that tranny out, put Hellboy's tranny in there, put the two wheel drive, before we put it in there, we put the two-wheel drive tail shaft on it, put the clutch back in there, put it in there, put a 205 transfer case in there, and got the 205 transfer case in there, got all the drive lines hooked up, went to put it in park, and or drive, and then back into park, and the park paw wouldn't work. It was making some noise, had to pull the tranny back out, pull the tail shaft off, and make sure the clutch backs the clutch backs were out of alignment just a little bit got them lined back up put it back together put the tranny back in it and mark did all that mark guys asked you to uh <laughs> I, yeah there he is right there <laughs> and uh which 
wasn't totally Mark's fault. Uh, I'll take the blame on some of that too. But uh, so anyway, got the tranny. Mark put the tranny back in it, and we just got it out. Rolled it out today. Runs great. Everything works. We put a twin stick uh, set up in it. It's got a 205 transfer case in it now with a 34 spline input output shafts. How about that? You ever see a twin stick in a? Did you get that? Mm -hmm. In a 5500 rollback flatbed? I don't think so. Or a 205 transfer case behind an Ison. Let's check it out. Right there, divorced folks. Got to put the front drive shaft in it still, so we'll be working on that this week. Drive shafts, compliments of the machine shop out of Chino Valley. Here, let me see that phone. Um, while Wrecker Rick's under there with our other phone, uh, we're dueling it up. Um, Daniel, we have a shop in Ash Fork, Flagstaff, and Holbrook. Um, what else? Would you build a back rack for a customer like the one on Black Betty? Uh, are talking about the headache rack on Black Betty? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you just need to email Wrecker Rick. Um, his email is rick at murphysdiesel.com. Um, let him know that you're interested in that and he can get with you about that. Uh, we'll help we be ready for snow season. Well, I don't know if we're going to get a snow season. I mean, we're coming up to January and I mean, what is it like 60 degrees out today? Something like that. It's pretty, pretty warm. Yeah. We're thinking we're not going to get a snow season. Yeah, and if, that's one reason why y'all haven't been seeing the bigger cover is we're, we ain't getting mm -hmm. that. Um, the highway is slow and uh, we're just not getting any storms rolling in here. So it's not looking good, folks. Heavy tea. Um, Jones in for a recovery. <laughs> so is the narrow. So Will Hellboy Did be. Finger Did you finger bang the audience? <laughs> Um, will Hellboy be street legal or will it have to be trailered to recoveries? Uh, it won't be street legal and we're not going to trailer it to recoveries. <laughs> <laughs> uh. and, I mean, unless the recovery is like further than 50 miles away. No? William, we'll uh, William, I saw your comment a couple times. Uh, email Rick, rick at murphysdiesel.com. Um, and he can get with you on that. Um, Jeff, yes, my truck was fixed uh, a while back. Yeah, you want to see Jeff? Wrecker Rick made it up to me. <laughs> so, uh, we can go look at my truck too. <laughs> it's a little dirty though, so. I just left it running. I thought we were gonna drive to the back. <laughs> this is the side that got tore up. Can't even tell. <laughs> Somebody get a sponge and a hose over here and clean this up for Jeff so you can see it. <laughs> Nothing. Just kidding. Um. Look at this. Look at this suspension system, folks. Kelderman. Don't buy Don't it. Don't buy it. Do not buy it. <laughs> Worst suspension ever. Ugh. I mean, it, it rides rougher than uh, than the stock suspension. It does. And it's on air, front and rear. The only thing cool about it is you can raise it and lower it. That is completely a total waste of money. A good um, thing. But I'm going to take those bags out, and I'm going to put different bags in there and, and fix that. But And I called Kelderman and told them about it i was like hey like this thing rides so rough it's like my kids are yelling at me in the back seat 
I got a three-year-old that's like, Dad, knock it off! <laughs> Every time I hit a bump, and we'll be driving down the highway, and he's and he's like, uh, yeah, let me let me guess, over bridges and expansion joints, stuff like that? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, we knew about that. Oh, you know about it? Then why are you selling the product? Well, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. You guys, Can you guys buy it back? No, no. Let me talk to the boss. No, we're not interested in doing anything. We're not going to help you out. So That's my experience with Hel- Kelderman. Um, Matthew Sutherland said you should build a yard van slash recovery unit. No one uses a van, but they have so much potential with all the extra room. <laughs> build a what? A, I guess a recovery van. Oh, we, you know, we had a recovery trailer. I, it's just, we don't use it. We've, we have, we actually have one. We have an Isuzu uh, with a roll-up door. Look, there's Beats Off, folks. Where? Oh. Just say, hi. say hi to YouTube. We're live. We're live. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> say something special? <laughs> no. I don't know if y'all have ever met Bootsloff, but uh, this is Bootsloff, folks. In passing. He's worked here a long time. How many years you worked here? Five years. Worst five, five years of his life. <laughs> Look at there's our truck boss. <clears throat> How about all these rams around here, folks? <laughs> Everybody. Huh? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hellboy, nine. And then uh, Hot Rods Transit Van, ten. <laughs> and most of these are... Uh, he's driving a PRX. Say hi to YouTube. We're live. Hi. This is, this is Michael. He's our, our truck boss. Nice talk to you guys. He keeps he keeps the wheels on the cart around here. So. <laughs> How do you like that TRX? I like it. You do? Mileage ain't too good. Uh, you know you know what? Uh, <clears throat> um, Uslop just walked by and said TRX with the chumps and he could take that any day in a trip. Pool. <laughs> really? Let's <laughs> go. That's what he said. So. First he has to have oil pressure. <laughs> he has to have oil pressure first. Uslop has a poor drafter. So, uh, he said you don't have any balls. No balls, yeah. No balls. <laughs> no balls. Here comes our 30 ton out the gate. Is that Bodie? Yeah, Bodie. It's an old KW. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. KW, the best, huh? What's the best, Michael? What's the best truck? W9. Huh? W9 LP. W9? W9. F378. 378? Mm-hmm. You like 378 or 379? 378, 379. See, straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> um, Mike wants to know which rotator is easier to drive. The single front axle or the duo front axle? Is he talking about the 9055? The 9055 is not a rotator. They're, so they're, they're the same. Oh, okay. Uh, they both have dual steering boxes. Uh, they both have the same turning radius. Uh, the only thing that I've noticed a difference uh, when you're driving a twin steer versus a single steer is when you're going over bridges and stuff, it really kind of make does this weird kind of kind of hits on the back axle right there right behind where you're sitting and um but i mean they tow really nice they handle the weight really nice uh i like the twin steers because i run 70 70 80 mile an hour in my my twin steer my uh 90 75 so we run 75 miles per hour or less that's right 75 <laughs> stay alive <laughs> what's your opinion he drove so bootslop drove a twin steer for years yeah before his accident so, uh, what's your opinion on twin steer versus? And speak up. I mean, I like the stability hey, on the road. So, I personally prefer. Yeah. yeah, it holds the road really well. I think so. Yeah. You notice the difference in turning of it? Well, yeah. Obviously, your turning radius is a lot shorter. Uh, if you're a good enough driver. It, you, well, it's shorter to, so he used to drive the red one that just came out the gate. This guy used to drive the red one. He's been mm-hmm. here a long time. So when we, that truck first came in, he started driving that. And then now Bodie's got it. 
and then he went into our, our uh, um, 9055 twin steer that Colin drives now. Uh, he used to have that truck. Uh, now he's our yard foreman. So, um, so I mean, he but he was used to driving that truck, which that truck only had I think it has a 15,000 pound front axle in it, or 14,000. I think it's 15,000. 14k. And anyway, it's got a single steering box, so it, it turns on a dime. I mean, really tight turning. And it, once you get up uh, to a 22,000 pound steer axle, you got twin steering boxes, so they don't turn. Whether, whether they're uh, twin steers or not, they still have the same turning radius. I've had multiple questions about who won or lost the bet, or if it's still ongoing, going, what's the end date? <laughs> we don't even have Hot Rod over here. Like, hot Rod! He just went inside. Oh, of course he did. We're getting questions uh, on the new shop, too. So, um, I've lost 55 pounds. How much have you gained? 0. 0.5? 30, 30 pounds. No, you yeah. haven't. No, yeah. <laughs> He's gained. So, we haven't got a scale yet, but I mean, he's gained probably six pounds since the beginning. Don't let him fool you, folks. A muscle, though. And what's the final day of the vet? 28th, isn't it? 27th? January. 27th of January. January 27th or something, the 28th. So, We're going to have to look um, again. I got, uh, what's today? 28th. 28th or 27th? 27th. I got 30 days to lose 59, 55 pounds. I think I got it. 59? 55. 55. So, I think I got it. I'm just not going to... I've been fasting a lot, though. So, I've already lost 55 pounds. I didn't gain 35. <laughs> Hi, Ruby. Um, do we own the Shell Station in front of our shop? No, we do not. Um, Wrecker Rick's parents own that Shell Station. We're a separate entity. Um, that, I got uh, numerous comments asking Murphy's about the Diesel. new shop. Uh, Y'all want to check out the new shop? So I was just telling, Michael walked up here a second ago, boots up, and he was like, He'll drag that piece of shit for drafted all over this parking lot. He said, you don't have any balls. Like, oh, really? <laughs> oh, we'll have to put that to the test, won't we? That's what he said. He said, you got to figure out how to get oil first and first. <laughs> Fair enough. That, tw that Ford Raptor's got 20,000 miles on it, and it's broke down. Hot Rod, where are you going? Nowhere. He's hiding. He's what are you doing? Away. You get them cars sold so we can buy them tracks? That's why I'm starting this one up. You got somebody coming to look at it? Yeah. Oh. So the only way we're buying our our mat tracks is if we sell three cars. We gotta sell twenty thousand dollars worth of cars, folks. So get your get your billfolds out. Um, have we ever used liquid spring suspension? Uh, no. Um, you know, I wish I would have went with liquid spring on this track instead of instead of the uh, Kelderman. Um, I've been thinking about going to liquid spring on my Ram 5500, but. My billfold's a little thin right now. So. <laughs> uh, thanks, Jeff, for keeping an eye out for a sliding triaxle. We're always up if it's a good deal for one, for sure. How's the audio, folks? We're standing out in the wind. Yeah, well, we need to go back there and show them the new shop, so... Well, let's load up and go show them the new um, shop. There's a guy that said that he's the guy that blew up his motor and his 13 Ram on the first outdoor show. Y'all did? Outdoor show? Oh, he's, he's looking for a motor. Looking for a Hemi 5.7, right? Oh, okay. I think. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't forgot about you. I, I haven't. Uh, Kevin, we have fitted hats. Just check our store. We did get fitted hats a couple months ago. Sorry, we haven't really updated it. I thought I, thought I did an update on one of our videos i thought i did but yes we have uh, black and red fitted hats small medium and then large extra large you can find them on our store this off-road game is not um ed uh we don't know if we're going to the record games we wanted hellboy to be done i don't know i don't know if we're gonna go or not uh kentucky we don't have a wash bay for records in our old shop that we're currently in but 
in our new shop. In our new shop, we got locker rooms and we got all kinds of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so. Truck wash bay. Uh, uh, wash bay for trucks? Yeah. Not I, here. This he says for our wreckers. Do you have a wash bay for wreckers? Oh, no. Uh -huh. uh, Carlos, swing by anytime. Um, most of these guys are here five to seven days a week, <laughs> especially Wrecker Rick. We'll see you tomorrow, Craig. Why, there, hot rod. why Ram trucks? Why Ram? Because they got Cummins in them. We run all Cummins. All of our, every one of our Wreckers has Cummins in it. Uh, and I mean, why not Ram trucks? <laughs> Because I've had Ford, I've had Chevy, and over the years I've had fleets of Fords, I've had fleets of Chevys, and uh, I've always gone back to Ram. Ram's always treated me the best. Uh, not Ram, the actual dealer, because they have never treated me worth the shit. Um, we don't even warranty our trucks. Sometimes, I mean, if you get a blown engine or a tranny, we try to, but uh, usually we do everything in house, and uh, we have the best luck with Ram. We, you know, for replacing you know parts and they're easy to work on um we've had a lot of comments asking about how we bill out large jobs the wrecks the big recovery wrecks so each um, truck is uh we get we get a price on each truck so uh a rotator you know makes um x amount of dollars a uh, light uh, light duty tow truck makes x amount of dollars uh we're contracted heavy, at, at rates. Heavy, yeah, we have contracted rates through Department of Public Safety, mm -hmm. and we have to follow those rates. So if, and then we have standby time. If our truck is on scene and not doing anything, we charge standby. We charge um, per guy. We also charge per guy, which is a very small fee. Um, but yeah, each truck is hourly. So, and, uh, and each guy is hourly. Mm-hmm. Um, Jim Howard, we are in Northern Arizona. You can find Wrecker Rick and De Niro and Hot Rod and Heavy T and most of them at our Ash Fork uh, location is where they mainly work. We have pushed the M100 back because this year is one of our worst years that we've had so um, since we've been in business. And uh, so we have pushed it back. It's not, not saying it's not going to happen, but it's not going to happen this year. So, not in 2024, I don't think. Um, last time I checked, uh, we were, um, when we decided we wanted to build it, it was two years out, and um, the guy that I get my trucks from, he ended up dropping the ball on it, and I'm not going to mention names, but uh, he ended up dropping the ball on it, we didn't end up ordering it, and luckily because this is the worst year we've had. uh <laughs> we have five children total all girls roger i see your question um hi max is Sweetie, the, the we should is the ta80 track tractor tuned huh is the ta80 tractor tuned no it's a 605 horse okay. my truck you loading up heavy tea? <clears throat> oh, yeah, I do have car seats in the back. <laughs> you can ride in the bed. We're going to go to the backyard, check out the shop, show y'all this little shed. We Everybody says on. the audio is spot on, everything's good. Check out this little shed we're building back here. Has the G56 held up? Yes, yes, I, I do like the G56 transmission. I have not had any problems with them. And every one that I've owned, I've driven pretty hard. <laughs> the only transmissions I've had trouble with is the ice. Um, and obviously the 68s too. I had problems with those, but uh, you could build them, put a manual belt body in them, and stuff like that. But um, the Isons, I don't have a problem with unless I'm doing something I'm not supposed to. So 
But if I'm just pulling, going down the highway, using them what they're supposed to be used for, then I don't have a problem. Um, G56, I've, I've literally done, you know. We have talked about doing a Murphy's Towing Calendar, Kentucky and Nelson. <laughs> it's, Wrecker Rick has talked about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we're definitely wanting to do a calendar, so. <laughs> Me on all 12 pages. <laughs> Probably going to be some center bolt action, you know what I mean. <laughs> Matt Nugent asked how long we've been in business. Uh, 2013. Here's our new shop. We'll get out and do a better walk around. Are you doing what I think you're doing? Oh, how about this piece of shit coming all over the place? Don't you let me out. Why? So, <laughs> so I can show them how you're treating my truck again. I disagree. <laughs> uh, Ed, yes, they did fix my truck. Sorry, we showed it earlier. So right here is the area that it was taken out by the track. How about this shop, huh, folks? So when I built this shop, $20,000 pop doors up there, but I found a way around it, folks. I'm going to fab up 12 inches, and I'm going to put a light in it with a cutout that says tire bay, diesel repair bay, fabrication bay, and then we're going to put 15 by 15 doors on it, and then we'll have enough room to put roll-up doors on it. Um, you want to tell everybody to like the video if they're watching? <laughs> Y'all are watching this video. Like it. Like it. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Do yourself a favor and subscribe. <laughs> when so, is Hellboy going to be ready to party? Uh, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at? Where my dog's at? <laughs> so, how about this floor? The thing that impressed me most about this is the guy did this floor... And I used to be in concrete, you know, for a spell. Uh, actually, all three of us did. Don't need to narrow and heavy tea, <laughs> heavy tea, mix a truck trade. Trey and so, actually drug up and went back. But, but look at the floor, <laughs> folks. I mean, it is smoother than a baby's butt. Look at the glass finish on it. Look at it down there. It's like glass. <laughs> You can't help but do smoky burnouts on it. Do a truck pull in here. Pull the excavator in Me and Trey can do truck pull in it out. So this is where the offices are going to be over here. In right here got a clerk right here at the front desk service writer right here you know get in place get in place De Niro be our service How writer I hear you I hear you yes <laughs> and uh so we'll uh come in here can I get my oil change sir no so no. <laughs> fortunately we're gonna do oil change here so we don't do maintenance here, folks. All we do is heavy truck repair. So, I mean, we will do an oil change, but 
I mean, heavy tea will. <laughs> um, but so then you walk in here. This is the waiting room all the way to those doors over there. This is the hallway. This is the guy's locker room. And then this is the bathroom down here. Men and women bathrooms. And then right here is a parts room. Somebody's been doing Brody's in here in the UTV. <laughs> Was it Rowdy? Rowdy Wheeler. I think Rowdy Wheeler just said, <laughs> Easy! What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you making? I find the filler. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, right, so right here, this is the parts room. And then from here that way, in that first bay right there, these three bays are going to be our fab bays for our off-road shit for YouTube and TikTok. And um, Travis. Tra Rowdy Wheeler, do a big old smoky burnout for truck, babe. <laughs> What? Rowdy Wheeler just did his biggest month. Yeah, I know. Uh, Travis has asked a couple times about our thoughts on expanding to southern Utah. Uh, I've thought about it. <laughs> I've definitely thought about it, Travis. Uh, another. Oh, you, got a, you got a connection? <laughs> I'm always looking for connections. There she is. We're for sure going to Paige. So. Look at that view. We're going to move to Paige, and that's just a skip off and drunk. Jump from southern Utah. She is perfect. There's, there's, <laughs> there's De Niro's favorite truck. How about this yard over here, folks? Is this thing not out of control? Who's that? Has he got that Honda Accord going? We've got this Honda Accord for sale, folks. If anybody's interested. 2018. It's got about 47,000 miles on it. It does have like a little bang on the passenger side rear, but it's pretty clean on the inside and all. Really nice. If you're interested in buying it, feel free to email Wrecker Rick at rick at murphysdiesel.com. Somebody wants to know if De Niro can do a cartwheel. Do it. <laughs> do it. God dang. Oh, I was going to say, do a backflip. <laughs> I heard Treg, Treg used to be able to do backflips. Oh my gosh. Do backflips, Treg. Right? You should do backflips. Yeah. You used to be able to do. Look at this yard over here. Let's check this yard out, folks. This thing's out of control. Uh, how many parking spots are we going to have at the new shop? Uh, well, I'll show you right now, folks. See all these cars right here? They've all got to go. So see that row of cars right there? That's all supposed to be parking all the way down to that white semi over there. See the white semi right over there? That's all parking right there. This is temporary fence. This comes out when the fence line comes to the corner of the building here. And then this is gets paved. It gets actually concrete 30 feet out and then pavement all the way out and then this is all truck parking so and then that there's a big parking lot out here where we're putting the truck stop murphy's diesel um that's going to be all truck parking so how many parking spots is there like 150 something like that i'd have to look at the plans to know exact but like yeah 150 to 100, it's quite a few parking there'll spots. be plenty of parking spots for oh, you guys yeah. trust me okay. um william do we have 22 five rims yep we sell you uh leave it steel aluminum used and new yeah, rims um, just go by uh any of our locations hub centric did um Piloted. sorry josh i think i've seen your comment a couple times did rick help gentry at all with his wrecker those two would be a great collab uh, -uh. no he never called me but he's welcome to <laughs> <laughs> welcome to give me a call if you want some help no nope. website told my website 
website, murphysdiesel.com. Check out murphysdiesel.com, folks. Even better, it's check great. out the store. Check out the store. Get yourself some merch. Murphysdieselstore.com. Yeah. Get yourself a new Hellboy t-shirt. We just came up with a new Hellboy t-shirt. No, we didn't. <laughs> Don't listen to him. We haven't. We have not made a Hellboy T-shirt yet. Please yes, don't go yes, there looking. Yes, you did. <laughs> have you ever checked your be beard for mice? He doesn't have mice in there. I check his beard all the time. Don't worry, Philip. No, but have you ever seen? <laughs> oh, I don't have any today. You don't have any of your curly cues. No. Um. Did Hot Rod ever sell his truck? I don't know which truck you're Black talking Dodge. about, Tillman. That's not Hot Rod. That that was. Are we talking about the Wreck Dodge? The wreck dodge. The, the wreck dodge, dodge was De Niro's, De Niro's and he yes, did he sell it. Yeah. If you go back to the beginning of the live, uh, you can see we talked about it. We, he got ripped off. Mm hmm. Is Hot Rod up to 157 pounds yet? <laughs> we just did an update on the weight bet that we had going. Hot Rod is not up to 157 pounds yet. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> oh, see? All right, oh, there's guys, the right? passenger side of the court I was talking about that's banged up. But other than that, it's got 47,000 right, miles on it. That. It's really nice, clean on the inside. <laughs> this question is for Mrs. Wrecker Rick. So do you want what's all the like kids to... to what's it like to be married to a legend? It's epic. <laughs> uh, do we want all of our kids to follow into the family business? Uh, I you hope not. It, no. <laughs> uh, this the record business is definitely uh, it takes a it takes the right person being twenty four seven the way we are. So yeah, I don't even like my nephews being in it. Yeah, like, <laughs> working on the side of the road and stuff, and how dangerous it is. Like I don't even like these boys being in it. No, always worry about them. Yep. Um, so if they do get involved with family business, we sure hope that they are like in the office with me or, you know, something. No, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, uh, old De Niro and, and Heavy T are going to take this place over someday. So. Yeah. Uh, what happens to the old shop? We and get. Cody. <laughs> and Cody. <laughs> you three. Uh. I'm ready to retire. We're going to tear down the old shop. We're just going to demo it. Look at him. Look at him. Uh, so close. <laughs> go go around. Test drive it for him. <laughs> I, I, I you can't drive. Huh? Yeah, keys are lost. Keys. No, Michael fixed it. That's a thin speed. Um, fish, to answer your question about how the yard works, um... So when we impound a vehicle, if it's a law enforcement contract, <laughs> then we follow Arizona law, which is after it's been in our yard for 10 impound, days, we have right. to file for abandoned title on it. Um, we file for abandoned title with the state of Arizona and they take it from there. We do charge per day. There's a, a set storage rate. Um, it's different for each law enforcement um, that we're contracted for. When is Hellboy going to be on rotation? When's Hellboy going to be what? On rotation. Uh, it's as soon as it's running. It'll be on rotation. They won't allow that truck to be on rotation. I, I don't. They'll let me use it, but I doubt I could put it actually on the rotation. Uh, I've actually used it on off-road recoveries for DPS, but the car comes so far off. Like we had a fatality one time. I was driving down the highway. And I was going uh, westbound, and a suburban wrecked, and I thought it was a pickup, and it just started indoing. And I just oh, seen, looked like trash there. and stuff flying out of it, and I was like, man, I better turn around. I turn around, come back, and I pull up there, and I come walking up there, and it was kids that had come flying out of it. And so I walked down there, and I grabbed this, this little girl, and picked her up, and held her, and, and went and checked everybody else. and and uh anyway uh, a lot of them didn't make it and um but we got the after we got everybody out of there we ended up it was so far off into the forest uh we had to go around and come in through a forest service road and then pull it out uh we never we didn't film it because of fatality so uh we had to pull it through the forest service and, and it was a pretty good off-road recovery. It was one of our best, but 
because it was so far from the highway and it went off of an embankment off the highway so the other option was close one lane down put a rotator there pick it up back over the top and i said or i could come in through a uh, two track road and go out the back country and and they asked me if i would do that so but that's about the only time we've really used it on dps we don't really use it for highway recoveries uh, a couple I'm people <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> uh, a couple of people have asked if we're going to collaborate with Casey Liddell. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, someday. We would like to. Uh, I talked to Casey. Uh, I, we watch his channel. We love his channel. So um, I think he's... Uh, I think we would probably do pretty good together. He's he's pretty uh, savvy in the recovery business, in my opinion. So, um, uh, Alexis, I, we might collaborate with Pepe's too. Alexis, we are at our Ash Fork shop is off of exit one forty four on I forty. Um, so if you are coming through, stop by. Uh, Don't wreck that. <laughs> uh craig i don't have hoodies Hot at rod. the shop to buy fire that four wheeler up but i mean if you email rick huh? and tell him what size you want i'll get it there for you yeah it is it, it it's got a cover you pull it off and there should be a uh pull start on it it's a 400 ex right uh craig Bollinger, I hope I said your last name right. I'm sorry. Uh, looks like a lot of people abandon their vehicles so they don't have to pay their bill. A lot of people do abandon their vehicles. Every, if you look right here, <laughs> that's why we have one of these. We have probably a, a, 300 cars right now. Every I think one of these is a vehicle we did not get paid on. Yeah. So. Um, and so the state of Arizona has their own process for that. I think they fine people $500. They suspend their registration. Uh, where they can't register any vehicle, period, until they pay Arizona the fine, but we don't get that fine. So the bill always just remains unpaid with us. I have that. If y'all heard that, say something so I can change it. Do we have a scrap yard for metal recycling? We don't have a scrap yard, no. We need to get one. We get so much scrap. Yeah, it would behoove us to have a yard. How about this, Jim, folks? Here's another inbound we didn't get paid on. <laughs> this rowdy wood. Uh, De Niro, a couple of people are asking about your hair. How about you, Westbound? You see any smokies from your rocking chair? <laughs> so, De Niro is not still wearing the cul-de-sac haircut. He has grown it out because the sequoia did get fixed. Thing, uh, Alan, why did De Niro have that haircut? He had that haircut because he backed my Sequoia into the hitch of a gooseneck trailer and just like wiped out the passenger side rear end. So he had the choice to pay for the repairs, which was like 8000 something dollars, or he could get a cul-de-sac haircut, and he chose the cul-de-sac haircut. fire up your love <laughs> so that volvo little little history for you folks that volvo's got a uh, 870 cummins in it and, um when i two months after i started went into business here that truck came in for an engine overhaul uh, back then i didn't know back then i didn't know Burr's <laughs> like a kid. Um, back what? back oh, then, I didn't know <laughs> that you had to get a deposit to do a job that big. Well, I overhauled the engine in this sucker and completely went through it, overhauled everything, and the guy never paid me, so I kept the truck. 
and it's been that was the first truck we ever got as murphy's towing I as had trucks in the as field. nikki and wrecker rig that yeah. was our first that's our first semi period that we ever well i got it before you did came. anything no i mean you had it but you didn't like I mean, no, it's I didn't technicality. It. I didn't it's own a technicality. It. Yeah, yeah, you didn't own it until yeah. I came along. I, I came had, along I and did all the mechanic lean fun stuff, and yeah. and then we owned it. You just had it. But anyways, technicality. Uh, moving on. What's he doing? Um, I thought you were out of the office and into the 75 ton, Nikki. <laughs> yeah. Craig, I wish, you know, it would be awesome. But unfortunately, if I was out of the office and in the 75 ton permanently... <laughs> <laughs> That's Wrecker Rick 75 ton. 75 ton <laughs> yeah. We Just have, make like, it our daily driver. So in our videos, you don't see all the stuff we do within a day. Everybody's constantly like, oh, Mount's Off Road didn't take as long to build their Wrecker. Well, I mean, we got three locations. I've got 32 uh, employees. We got 40 employees if you count all of our everybody. In all the, the office. office yeah. Office personnel and dispatchers. And, and then uh, we got you know 12 heavies and uh we got light duties and service trucks and and axle surgeons and sometimes i do spindles hot rod does pretty much most of the spindles and uh but we're always busy plus yeah. now we got youtube and, and we have other projects. projects like working on the the rollback uh the flat yeah, bed and i take on a lot of projects we also black betty we also have four houses we're building mm -hmm. um so what three I, houses we're building. i've had a couple of people ask what are the plans for the military the truck we also build houses huh what are the plans for the military truck several comments uh i don't know i almost bought a 750 homes the other day split boom and slap that on there so i mean i can't really tell you until i start doing it so uh but uh yeah, so I mean, we I thought about either I'll, I'm thinking about making a dovetail to where we could just put Freebird on it and then put a build a great big side puller for it with uh, two stiff legs that come down in the middle and uh, or put a 750 homes bed on it or I've thought about putting a 35 ton. Uh, just want to speed up a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying to read the comments and walk and record you at the same time. Uh, I'm I'm talented, uh, but you know it might go slow. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, what do you guys think I should do with it? <laughs> Are any of the rest of your crew able to grow a beard like Wrecker Rick? <laughs> uh, Heavy T's only 19. He's Heavy T. Let's see that beard. Heavy T is like a spitting image of me when I was his age. <laughs> I think I had a thicker beard though when I was his age. But I could tell. They're all wondering who could, if anybody could grow a beard like mine in the company. This side grows longer than this side though. He's only 19, <laughs> so uh, I'll bet you money his beard's going to be as thick as mine one of these days. But uh, other than that, nobody. Cody can. Yeah, it's coming in real nice and thick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Eamon. Eamon. <laughs> Um, expat, do you guys ever auction off the vehicles you get title to? Uh, every single car that's in here that we have a title for is for sale. If there's something specific that you're interested in, again, email rick at murphysdiesel.com. The other thing is we don't get a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Guys. This is stuff that people leave. They're, you, you rarely mm -hmm. get anything good. Like, uh, maybe, uh, once in a great while we'll get something, something decent out of here. It's not very often. I mean, we're out in the middle of nowhere. And I mean, pretty much everything that surrounds us is all tweakers. So, uh, this is what we're left with. So, and the semis, we don't ever get a good semi. We Cascadia, watch, I'll show you. Cascadia, Cascadia there, Cascadia there. They, nope, there's a Western Star. Well, Western Star is kind of a Cascadia, right? No. Well, that, that <laughs> model of Western Star, I, I don't really care for. Uh, but I mean, with exceptions, like we have one Western Star right there. And uh, not to say I don't like Western Stars, but I don't like that Western Star. Um, but yeah, almost everything's. I got a Peterbilt, a Kenworth, and the rest is Cascadia in the International. All with DD15s in them. DD15s aren't, aren't the worst engine, but I don't like them. We work on them all the time. 
That's one of the biggest trucks, one of the biggest uh, brand of engine that comes into our our shop is DD's, DD15's, so. Have you ever had a recovery that you couldn't do or you started it and got removed for some reason? Uh, not me personally. <laughs> uh, I've had one of my guys, so I had a guy here just not too long ago. Um, ADOT kicked him off of it. Uh, and the guy, he was at one of my Holbrook locations. He was the manager out there. He did the call and all he had to do is communicate with us and say, hey, I can't get this on my own. We would have went out there and had it. I, when we did, me and Michael, my truck boss went out there, we had it off the road in an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And he was on, on their side of the road for eight hours. Really uh, put a bad taste in um, the law enforcement's mouth for us out there in that area. So, uh, but I mean, I, I feel like we've fixed that since. Is, is red our company colors? I would say yes. Red and white. Red, white, and blue? No. Black and gray. <laughs> Red, white, black, and gray. Red, white, and blue. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, hi, audio wizard. It's nice to know that there's some locals hopping on around here. But yeah, look at all them Cascadias. And they're not all Cascadias, but Freightliner box truck, Freightliner, uh, I think that's a Columbia, isn't it? Or is that, that's a, the first Cascadia. International, Kenworth, uh, Freightliner Cascadia, Western Star, Cascadia, 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 Volvo, v &L. I mean, it's, you know, that's, there's so many of them on the road. There's, there's everywhere. B and L's and <laughs> Cascadia's. Jeff, uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce your last name. I don't want to butcher it. He said that you got enough catalytic converters and that lot of cars to keep a crackhead high for a lifetime. That we do. Is Colin? <laughs> Colin Hales asked if Heavy D is your hero. <laughs> heavy D. Mm -hmm. Who's Heavy D? <laughs> Uh, you, does he mean heavy tea? Um, hmm. Put the tracks on the seven ton. We could destroy him. Is De Niro? Heavy is De Niro heavy tea's mom or dad? Wrecker Rick's sibling? Yeah. So uh, their mother is Wrecker Rick's sister. Yeah, my sister is their mother. That's right. Why do you got your pants down again? How's the slide axle working? Good, right there. Well, you can see it right here. It's loaded for a scrap run. Headed to headed to the scrapyard. Working good. Putting it to work. Have we towed any coal fire slash electric cars? Yeah. Not ones that have caught on fire. No, uh, yeah. not yet. We've towed the, we've towed the electric cars. We just haven't caught any that are burned. We've towed we've had some totaled out ones though. Um, it's normal for us to get quite a bit of snow. It's not normal for us to have such a dry winter like we have this year. Uh, so that's the thing about Arizona folks is it's, it's, you know, we're high elevation, but, uh, it's a, it's a dry climate. It's a dry zone. So, uh, we do have years where we do go a long time without a snowstorm, but generally when we do get snowstorms, they're big. Uh, we, we get two to three foot at a time sometimes in the high country and uh, we do have snow in the high country just not very much I mean the mountains the peaks uh, San Francisco peaks we've got snow on them um, we're just you know 
we're not getting what we we used to and off-road recovery uh man it is really so i've done off-road recovery for since i was a kid and um man it's just become a fad you know i mean everybody's doing it now and, and there's little <laughs> off-road recovery places popping up there's guys getting on uh just guys getting on uh Hey, wh hey, where was that? Where'd y'all see that? That guy got on there and was like, hey, uh, I do offer <laughs> recoveries for free. What so. y'all doing? Uh, local uh, Facebook oh. group. Facebook. On Facebook, he put a Let's deal out. Let's not shout that guy out. Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not shout out that guy. Yeah. 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 No, I'm not going to put his name in there. Uh, but we do this for a living. You know, we do. We rely on off-road recoveries and uh, tractor trailer recoveries to make a living and, and these guys you know, coming out it's gotten to be such a fad now they're doing the off-road recoveries for for free just to do it so. um scott asked if any cargo is worth keeping or does the insurance company keep it again nobody ever leaves anything good here yeah so we do if, have if a couple do, trailers of cargo <laughs> but. and one of the trailers that we have is hookah bongs a plastic hoop yeah bong. and the other one that we have uh is, is flooring little like the foam that goes under the floating wood floor mm -hmm. or carpet and i mean it's not big rolls it's tiny little um uh, 24 inch by like, 50 foot yeah. and and then also what was in the bottles uh, uh de developer no yeah it's developer. hydrogen peroxide no, developer kind of the pine salt, it's cream of peroxide Cream of peroxide. Cream of peroxide. <laughs> yeah, nobody ever leaves anything good here, Scott. Except for that Chevy aluminum over there. Huh? Does, Matt, does Matt's off-road recovery know about your record? Do they? Oh, I'm sure they do. <laughs> um... Out of the off-road truckers that we recover, is it mostly non-English speaking drivers? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> like, I have never recovered a guy that's that far, that deep into the woods in a track, loaded tractor trailer that spoke English. Uh, Hot Rod. Did Hot Rod and his lady have their baby yet? No. Any day. Any day. Could be happening right now. <laughs> Could be happening right now. <laughs> Uh. You won't be at the hospital. Even sure it's good. Turn the screen sideways. I don't know. Will my phone do that? I don't know. It says that. It says operation is locked. Rotate back. It wants me to end this live and start again. Sorry. I chose the wrong direction to video. I'm, I apologize. I'll try to get everything in the view. What is the elevation here uh, in Ash Fork? I think we're at like 55, 5,600. 5, okay. Um, our flagstaff. Uh, flagstaff, we're at like 7,000 7, feet or something. I don't remember. It's like 7,000 people. Do you have any Mack truck? Mack, Mack trucks, sorry. Mack trucks? Yeah. No, no Mack trucks. Here's our excavator. Any plans for a new wrecker soon? Um, we got a whole fleet of brand new wreckers. <laughs> uh, I I don't think so. We're the way like with the economy and how slow everything is. I don't think we'll be buying the new wrecker anytime soon. If we do, we'll trade in an older one for a new one. So. Um, BFT keeps asking me how strong your beard is. Can it lift a semi? Uh, I don't know about a semi. I have faith in it. <laughs> That's all that matters. Wife. It can lift your wife. <laughs> What's been your favorite heavy record? Uh, 9055 that I used to have. It was a El Diablo. El Diablo is what we called it. Um, it that was, was 9055. It was our first one. Three ever. stage. Mm -hmm. uh, I built an engine for it and had a lot of horsepower. Uh, had the signature 600 turbo on it, a ceramic manifold, and had an ISX in it. 
870 ISX ran really good, 18 speed. That was my favorite. Have you ever found a meth lab? Yes. <laughs> oh. I used to work in one. <laughs> Just uh, I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't, War Machine's kind of... I think War Machine's probably my favorite now. What's your favorite type of recovery? <laughs> heavy off-road heavy off-road uh probably no i think like um like a truck down in a canyon fully loaded you know the harder the better <laughs> they asked who was running the camera me <laughs> the harder um, the better you know, i like them hard i have uh several people asking for you to show more fabrication um more, more fab work yeah <laughs> maybe we should start a fab channel what do y'all yeah. think probably what happened to Gabe? We Multiple to comments about Gabe. Um, he he's in the Peace Corps. <laughs> uh, duty called. And he had to go. Uh, the president reached out and asked him to come join a Secret Service, and he wasn't about to turn that down. So. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Gabe went back to California. Gabe was from California, and he used to be a cop over there. And, you know, he's got called back into duty to protect and serve. What do we do with the excavator? What do we do with it? Mm -hmm. uh, dig holes. Uh, <laughs> we dig holes. We move scrap around, separate scrap. This, so believe it or not, this was all full about three weeks ago of just burned trailers, wrecked trailers. We've cleaned it up a lot. Uh, whatever. I mean, you name it. We'll use it if I have to on a recovery. I mean, we've never had to use it on a recovery yet, but, uh, but we have it if we do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, whatever. Excavation. <laughs> like right now we're at, we're clean topping the, this hill out behind us. We're making more room in the yard. Uh, what we've been doing with it lately. Uh, what is Rick's hobby when he's not working? What is he doing? Recovery. <laughs> That's all I do. I don't have any hobbies. Uh, my old hobbies used to be, I used to rodeo, team rope, uh, cowboy. Uh, I used to be a hunting guide. Uh, I would say those are probably my, my passion, my hobbies, but I haven't done that uh, since 2013. So. Doug wants to know if it's true you're a firefighter. Yes. Yeah, wildland, that... yeah. Rick Rick was a firefighter. Seasonal firefighter. Mm -hmm. um, how many uh, acres? How many acres do we Force have out here? Out here in Ash Fork, we have like 40, 50, 60, I don't know, 7, 70? Uh, well, we got this right acres. here is 36, right? Uh, 20, 10, 20, and 20 is 40. So 40 yeah, right here. 40, and then. And then 30 right here, 35? Yeah, I think it's like somewhere around like between 70 and 80 acres right down here in Ashford. Yeah, yeah, and then we got uh, well, our other shop in Flagstaff's only on like four acres, right? Yeah, it's really, it's uh, and then in small. Holbrook we have 10 acres, I believe. I think it's actually 17 acres. Yeah. Um, do all hires for our company have to have commercial licenses? No. No, they don't. We we actually get guys that are licensed. Um, they sign a two-year contract, and we give them the, get them their license. Mm -hmm. We have a couple guys. We do full we have, training, everything. Yep. That's when we're hiring. We're not hiring right now, though. Yeah. Um, whiskey what or part beer? of Tennessee? Huh? Whiskey or beer? Uh, whiskey. Yeah. Rye. When he does drink, which is like once drink, a year. No. I, yeah. I don't drink at all. I don't. Do you want to wear sunglasses? Huh? Your sunglasses. Ray Bans. Wayfair Blaze. You gotta yeah. you gotta type in Blaze Wayfair if you're interested in the sunglasses he wears yeah. on Ray Ban's site. I like Wayfair Originals or these Blaze. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't drink. I don't. I but when I when I did, I I, drink, I like to drink whiskey. Uh, what part of Tennessee are you from, Nikki? I am from Middle Tennessee, uh, like 30 minutes north of Nashville. Somebody, Jeff said Rowdy needs an old R model Mac for the fleet. It's not a bad idea. Uh, I'm thinking, 
I got a cab over white right there. I got two of those babies. How's Bailey's working? Do they give you anything new to try out? Um, they did, they have for Hellboy. We got some really cool stuff that we'll be showing you as soon as we get Hellboy done. Um, that's gonna blow your minds. You've probably never seen it before. <laughs> and guaranteed that no one else is using it. So, um, in the off-road recovery, YouTube off-road recovery, in, in, you know, our recovery world, in, you know, like that Bailey's services, uh, lots of people, lots of companies are using it. Um, but in the YouTube recovery world, you, you've never seen it before. What? Oh, nothing. Uh, what is that? <laughs> When's Hellboy going to be done? Uh, hopefully, the next couple of days. Will your Black Hawk helicopter be painted black and red as soon as you get it? Um, red, white, and blue. Did you ever do over the road trucking and where did you get all your trucking wisdom? Um, not like quite over the road. I mean, it was, uh, I hauled crude oil. Uh, I had 10 trucks in the oil fields hauling crude oil that I was a truck boss for. And um, I also, we had side dumps in the Bakken and we ran side dumps up there. That's kind of where I started out. and. Uh, with a, a friend of mine from here, we, we just went to the oil fields and took some side dumps up there. I didn't even have a driver's license. And, and uh, is that sun? Blocking? A little bit. And, uh, and that's where we started. I started, uh, I started working on trucks here before, but uh, started driving them in the Bakken. That was uh, 2008 or nine or something like that. Do you have any good trucks for sale? Thicker trucks? No. Well, well that's w running? Or? I got W900L <laughs> stretched out. Uh, we call it Phantom 309. Uh, 320 inch wheelbase. It's got a ISX Cummins in it. You can contact me at uh, <clears throat> rec or rick at murphysdiesel.com. Uh, Craig, no, I'm not from Oak Ridge. I am from Pleasant View, Tennessee, uh, Cheatham County. Um, like about, I don't know, 40 minutes north of Nashville, about uh, 30 minutes south of Clarksville. Um, Jeff, I know where you're at. Um, how did we get into YouTube? Uh, it's a funny story. It's a long story. Uh, I know. <laughs> so I'll, I'll make it short. So. I was in the dentist's office one day and the dentist knew that I was making small talk, knew I was into heavy recovery and stuff like that. And, and so he asked one day if I do off-road recovery. I said, yeah, all the time. And uh, he said, no way. I said, yeah, yeah, we do it. And uh, so have you ever, and he said, have you ever heard of Matt's off-road? And uh, I hadn't, I'd had never heard of him. And this was a year and a half ago. And uh, I, uh, left the dentist's office and, and him and his, his uh, assistant, they were all raving about Matt's off-road. So I was like, God, what do people that work in a dentist's office care about recovery? So I left there. I called Gabe up. They used to work for me, called him up. And cause he, he has been into YouTube before. Uh, he dabbled a bit and I asked him what he thought about it. And his first thing was Diesel Brothers. I didn't even know who Diesel Brothers were. And he was he was telling me about all Diesel Brothers, all this stuff, and and so uh, we actually thought that we were gonna come into this. I he was a cop over there that did videos on the side. I said, hey, come out here. I'll pay X amount of dollars to make videos. Let's start a YouTube. We'll blow the top off of this thing. And and because watching everybody else's, I was like, man, we do that stuff. We do it on a daily basis. So. Um, he moved out here. We started making YouTubes, and I thought in the first year I'd have 500,000 subscribers. And here we are, coming up on 50. 
So it's a lot harder than you think. And make sure if you're watching that you like the video because it really does help us with yeah. YouTube. So if you're watching, I see I see the number count. So if you're watching, hit that like button so that it gets our numbers up there. Yeah, just because you're a big towing company and you've been doing it for most of your life. And uh, I mean, it, YouTube's a whole different deal. I mean, it's a, um, yeah, it, it was it was humbling for us. Do we raise cattle? Yes. Have you ever worked with Pepe's Towing out of California? No, but I talked to him. We're, we've talked about maybe doing a collab or something in the future. Who's Ryan Up Church? Ryan Up Church. All right, yeah, Hot Rod. Sorry, I don't know who Ryan Up Church is. He said you're from where Ryan Up Church is. I'm assuming he's talking about where I said I was from. Why is Hot Rod on? <laughs> no, it's, it's not our, it's not our Hot Rod. <laughs> It's a yeah. different hot rod. Hot rod. He's one of our subscribers. Um, how, did Mrs. how did Mrs. and Mr. Wrecker Rick meet? <laughs> uh, That's a story. Right. He, well, he, you know. When first time we him. met, I was a, I come back home from the oil field. She worked for my dad. Um, I laid my best line on her. She told me to get. And, uh, didn't want nothing to do with me. Uh, I was pretty GQ. Weighed about 200 pounds at the time. Looked like a young Marlon Brando. Yeah, you did. And, uh, Not that I noticed. She wasn't having it. Uh, everybody in this little town we live in told her I was bad news and stay away from me. And Anyway, years later. Four uh, years later. Four years later, she still was. Uh, looking good. Yeah, she was still <laughs> looking good. And uh, we didn't really like each other. Uh, I didn't like her after she shot me down. She didn't, she didn't like me because everybody else you know didn't like me so uh but one day you know she needed a battery she came pulling in and needed a battery and, and then my truck just and, kept breaking down after that uh, randomly yeah. i that kept truck, having to take it back to him that truck came into my shop about 15 times that <laughs> coincidence yeah. coincidence yeah. i think not so then we went out on a, we went on a date and uh never spent a night apart since that's right. Um, if I stop in, can I buy merch there in Ash Fork? I don't keep merch in Ash Fork, but if you email, uh, if you email us or Rick um, at Rick Rick at MurphysDiesel dot com and tell us what you want to be down in Ash Fork, I'll get it there, and we'll Mrs. Rick or Rick autograph it. I sure will. You just tell me where you want it autographed. I'll autograph it for you. <laughs> so we'll Rick or Rick. Willie Mill, can you update us on the new truck stop? Is it the old Ted's bullpen at Ash Fork? No, the the one nine they built a one nine at the old Ted's bullpen. There's a there's a truck stop already there. It's called the one nine, and pi, you know it's owned by Pilot. Uh, our truck stop will not be owned by a franchise. Will be owned by us. It's and it's going to be in this parking lot right here off of exit 144. And it'll be called Murphy's Diesel. Will Rowdy return for a New Year's special? Maybe. Have to watch to find out. <laughs> um. I don't know. We got a lot of good ideas for Rowdy, you know. It's just a matter of getting him out here, you know. He, he's really a hermit, you know. He likes to... Um, out, sorry, out, Andy. Out I mind. keep saying I keep seeing you mention Up Church. I don't I don't listen to Up Church. I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. Have you ever watched um, Pepe's? Yeah, we've watched Pepe's. Yeah, we watched Pepe's. I don't really watch. I don't really. I'm always busy. So if I have free time, I'm usually talking to you guys. So. Um, or making a video for you guys. So I don't really watch YouTube very often. I mean, the channels I do watch is Casey Liddell and Pepe's. And if I do watch anything, I mean, and half the time I don't watch theirs because I'm always busy. I mean, I'll watch Gentry and Sons every now and then, but uh, not very often. Um, what did Rowdy get for Christmas? <laughs> Y'all really love Rowdy. <laughs> uh. Uh, some ball cream. Stones. 
Do we run heavy haul trucks and low boys? Where's the low boy at? Yeah. It's up yeah, front. Not that much though. We don't we don't have a big call for it out here. Uh, most of our shops, we got one shop in Flagstaff, and um, there is some heavy haul work up in that area, but uh, a lot of competition up there. And out in Holbrook, we do, you know, we get what we do what we can get out there. Uh, in Ashwork, we do what we can get. There's not a lot of building going on here, so uh, and everything getting hauled in here is usually coming from other places. So our main deal is recovery so uh, we have the low boys and everything to use on our recoveries and if they're empty and we get heavy haul work we'll go do it but we don't not that often how many children do we have and are they old enough to work with us five daughters and our oldest is 17 15 15 8 8 and three and two. All girls. And have, and uh, T Money is our oldest, Taylor. She comes and works with us a little bit every now and then, but not very often. We kind of butt heads. The W9 with a 320 wheelbase is not here right now. It's, um, it's one of our drivers. It's in, yeah, it's in service right now. Mm -hmm. so. And if you're interested, we can put a new engine in it. I think it's got, or overhaul the one that's in there. It's got 500,000 on it. Uh, that's 500,000 pulling heavy. So, because it's a it's a wrecker, a D DTU. It's double frame too. But we can remove the DTU off of it. It's a detachable tow, tow unit, if you don't know what that is. Oh, I'm getting like super cold. Um, my battery's getting low. So is my my phone just went to ten percent. Um, so a lot of people that are hopping on want an update on Hellboy. I don't know if you want to drive back up there and show Hellboy before our phones die. Let's get an update on Hellboy, huh? Yeah. Hey. Shut this gate. Lock this gate. Um, I'm guessing T-Money will be working at the fuel station. Um, probably not. She's, you know, pretty close to graduating high school. Yeah. She's going to go to college. We're not yeah, sure where, pretty, but yeah, she's, pretty, she's, she's pretty hell bent on doing her, doing her own thing for a while when she graduates. Yeah, T-Money's, um, we got high hopes for her. She's super smart. She's like, she... She could graduate already. She didn't want to. Uh, she's in college courses and stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, for everybody that was asking, that missed at the beginning of the video about my truck, this is my truck. Yes, we did get it fixed. This is the side that was taken out by the track. It's all fixed up. Oh yeah. Woohoo. Nice and warm in here, you know? Um, somebody said, can you get the heavy wrecker YouTubers together at an equipment expo and do a sort of heavy wrecker Olympics? That would that, be cool. That would be uh, cool. I mean, they already do stuff like that. I mean, they don't do it on YouTube though. Uh, so there's lots of places that do that. Like if you go to like Baltimore Tow Show or Vegas Tow Show, they do, they do stuff like that. They do, uh, shows like that. It's just... Outside of YouTube, there's a huge heavy towing world. I mean, YouTube like scratches the surface. I mean, you got, so with YouTube, you got YouTubers that do recoveries. And in our our industry, in the heavy industry, like Bailey's, like all the people they service and stuff like that, they don't do YouTube, they, they just do recovery. So, um, you know, they, they have some really cool equipment, I mean, stuff that you've never seen before so yeah it would be cool um nikki i don't know if i can get all of these guys to say what's up for you i i've seen your comment about a hundred times <laughs> they'll probably look at me like i'm stupid what <laughs> say what's up nikki yeah but like all really like you know 1990s what's up you know, like all drawn out, like, what's up? What's up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Drake. Oh my gosh. What a maniac. <laughs> nobody's asked about this tractor trailer laying inside here. Oh. Well, that was a training deal, so. Oh, what's going on with this? Um, is his phone dying? No. I don't know. Um. <laughs> Did it go up? Yeah. I don't know why. Uh, we'll let Cody worry about that. I counted 42 trucks. How close was I? Uh, 42 trucks in the yard, uh, like semi trucks. Um, probably pretty close. I think I think it's closer to 50. Um, was required as far as programming the Allison, or is it programmed? Uh, is it reprogrammed standalone? Uh, it, it's so it's pre-programmed. You put the Allison TCM. And it, this is not working. It just shut down. That just ruined Cody's day. Sorry, Cody. Let's go check out Hellboy and then we're going to be off. Here. Yeah, because my phone literally is at 8%. So, um, Jeff, we do not have any Ram 5500s for sale right now. Um, we like them too much. If we had one, we'd probably keep it. Other what than are you looking for? Ram 5500s. I got that Ram 5500 over there. Yours? Yeah. Your can, Ram? We could do it. You want to sell your Ram? Maybe right. we'll give it All away. All right, Jeff, email, email record. Or we can give it. Give, give it away. away? No. <laughs> what? Should I leave this on here? Hmm? All right, update on Hellboy. I have 8% remaining on my phone. All right, so update from earlier. Nothing has gotten finished. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, the only thing we're lacking on Hellboy is wiring. We're doing the wiring. Uh, got the wiring harness back in it. Uh, well, it doesn't look like he does yet, actually. Uh, we're getting all our power negatives grounds hooked up. The um, bottom, the... We put rock sliders on it. Uh, the other side's finished. Let's check out the other side. Got to squeeze through the 58s. Where's Mark? Probably yeah. left. Do you want me to leave the tire on there or put the track back on? It's got rock sliders Probably on it. Probably put the track back on. It can't move with the tire, it's got right? got rock sliders on it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty much done. We got the doors. Toolbox doors are almost done. We gotta finish. Um, got some airlines to hook up for lockers and stuff, but other than that, we're pretty much done. Uh, I got some winches. I'm gonna replace these. I got some mile markers I'm gonna put on there. Uh, hydraulic mile markers. Um, but hopefully another week or so. Um, if DPS calls you guys out, is that contract a set price? Yes, those con uh, law enforcement, every law enforcement in Arizona has you at a contracted rate that you sign up for. Um, what do you think about NRC? I like NRC. Uh, the thing I don't like about NRC is, uh, so when I bought my 7510, when Miller, Miller hiked the price up on me almost a hundred grand. Uh, that's what I don't like about Miller is, is you know, they've gotten so big they can they just just do whatever they want basically. Um, anyway, Miller hiked the price up on my 75 to 100 grand before it was done, and I had already put a deposit on it. I already ordered it. Um, so anyway, I called NRC up and, and asked them um, about a wrecker, getting a wrecker. Uh, I think there, there's an 85 ton. Uh, NRC and talked to them about getting that and they were like we're not even giving lead times right now so like well so you don't want to sell one somebody wants to buy one no, uh, no you'll have to call back in six months if it's like, so um, have you considered portal axles on Black Betty I have 
thought about it. Um, Very expensive, though. It's been dark here for two hours. What time does it get dark here? Well, we're in northern Arizona. We're in mountain standard time. It's only 5.05 here right now. So I probably, when I mean, you can see, it's kind of getting darker out there. Probably about 6 o'clock it'll be dark, pitch black. Uh, when your guys are out on recovery, how often are you actually there with them? Because I see you always working in the shop along with them. Uh, if it's not a big recovery, then I don't go. Like, we don't put light duty recoveries on. We get light duty recoveries probably daily. Uh, we get, uh, I get recoveries, you know, heavy recovery. I kind of pick and choose. I mean, uh, what I want to put on there. Uh, I try to put the bigger stuff on there every now and then we'll put something smaller on there just because um, I haven't been getting out on recoveries. Uh, yeah, I mean, I dispatch calls me on every recovery and if it's something I want to go put on YouTube, I'll go do the recovery. So I don't do all the recoveries. I mainly just war machine recoveries and elder and off-road recoveries. Um, what are the plans for the Gladiator? I think they're talking about Team Money's Gladiator. Yeah. Mm, Not I mean, sure. You might give it away. Might give it away. Give um, it away. speaking about giveaways, um, I just saw a comment about, are you ever going to do a giveaway that does not require someone to purchase an item? Yes. Uh, every giveaway from here on out there, you know, will be an option for not purchasing there will be a, a, a free entry option. Yeah. So just stay tuned for our future giveaways and we'll have it on our website. We'll have all the rules and the ways that you can enter, but that'll be a future thing. So yes, we will. Um, does the old shop get knocked down when the other one? Yes, because we're yes. putting fuel pumps right here. We're putting truck pump, not right here, but just on the other side of this, the trucks will be driving through here to get to the fuel pump. So this, we're gonna tear this down. What about portal drives for bigger tires on Black Betty? Oh, smart going portal. Portals? Yeah. Uh, can we see the blue semi setting right in front of the shop? That's not our semi. That's a customer semi yeah, uh, that we're it, working on. But yeah, I can walk out and show it to you. Um, here's the blue semi right out in front of the shop his record Rick physically superman he sure is in my book you know he's my superman hey babe are you gonna put a cat c7 in hellboy <laughs> i hear you laughing <laughs> You like that one? <laughs> Did you teach your star workers how to be so mechanical and fab-minded? Yes. Everybody here, uh, pretty much everybody that works for us, I have taught. I don't really... Um, years ago, I got away, except for Finner. Finner, he knew, you know, before he came here, he was uh, already had experience in towing and recovery. Um, but everybody else, pretty much, in my whole company, I have taught same thing with uh, our mechanics are you know they they might have had just a slight mechanic background but everything they uh, same thing, hot rod he could weld when he came here but he couldn't fab uh, he didn't do spindles he didn't do any of that um, but I mean he's a you know he's a pipeliner before he came here so. um, <clears throat> did tows or maintenance of trucks keep us busy most I'd, I'd say 50 50 right now like like what do we do more like work on trucks or tow them 50 50 yeah 50 50 yeah. it's always 50 50 we do a lot of truck repair and we do a lot of towing too are there going to be steps that fold up on hellboy or are you going to have to take a ladder to get it no we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna start working on something that probably folds down so we can get in yeah um everybody hit the like button if you're watching right now it helps it helps push our video out there in the youtube community if you yeah. just hit the like button the while like you're watching button. if you're not subscribe, and a lot of you <laughs> there's that honda accord they are just you know just putting miles on that low mileage vehicle 
What are y'all doing? You're putting miles on it, and we're trying to sell it. Test driving. Test driving. Why? Okay. Test Where's the guy that's coming to buy it? Um, his name is Phoenix. Huh? Uh, Phoenix. Um, Al, is that our truck stop gas station? That is not ours. That is my in-laws. That's Wrecker Rick's parents' gas station. Uh, yeah, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed and you have found this informational at all or entertaining, do subscribe. Yeah, um, do, do yourself a favor and subscribe. Folks. You're right, Ed. Rick does just jump into Hellboy. He doesn't need a ladder. He doesn't need no steps. Hey, somebody grab a saws on. Uh, for all of you asking how much the Honda Accord is, just shoot Rick an email. Rick at murphysdiesel.com. For an extra thousand, for whatever he's asking, Hot Rod said he'll deliver it in person. And you say that, but like, what if they are like in Australia? You're going to deliver it to Australia for a thousand bucks? That's, you know, within you better. The within the United States. The 48 or, or the whole 50? The whole 50? Okay, just the 48. Okay. <laughs> Um, Where's 50 states? All right, I have 4% left on my phone, guys. We're going to have to wrap it up. Where'd De Niro go? All right, folks. De Niro! Oh, probably. All right, folks. Everybody wants a finger bang before we go. Uh, give us a, leave us a comment if you guys like this live. Uh, and, you know, check our videos out. Like and subscribe. Um... Till the next time. Leave a comment if you like the video. So take care guys. Hey, finger bang the audience. <laughs> take care. Three percent. Are we gonna take run care. it till my phone dies or just no, go? Take just care. go? Alright. Take care. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, folks. How do you end it? Wait, hold on, I don't there's no stop button. Modest nope. 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 That's not it. How do you stop it? Hold on. Wait. There's a comment. Have you ever oh. seen Rick without his beard? Yeah. One time. One time. And the whole time. I look we've like been a young Marlon Brando. Yes, he does. We've been married for seven years, together for eight. I've seen him without a I beard have to one keep time this beard for our wedding. To keep the women away. I guess we have to wait for it to like kill my phone because I literally. Oh, I see it. Okay, never mind. All right, y'all say say goodbye again. <laughs> like and subscribe.